the world of music, some voices transcend time, touching souls long after the creators have departed. Among them is the legendary Pakistani Qawwali maestro Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan, whose ethereal voice continues to resonate across continents. As news of a posthumous album become evident, South Asians find themselves at the brink of anticipation. But why does Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan hold such unparalleled reverence, stirring hearts even decades later? Nusrat Fateh Ali Khan was a Pakistani musician celebrated as one of the greatest Qawwali vocalists of the 20th century. Born in 1948 into a family renowned for their Qawwali heritage, Nusrat learned the art from his father, Ustad Fateh Ali Khan, starting at a very young age. His fame initially grew in Pakistan and India during the 1970s, but it was in the 1980s that he became a global sensation. His performances resonated widely due to the migration of Pakistanis abroad and the burgeoning popularity of world music. In 1985, Nusrat and his ensemble captivated audiences at the WOMAD festival, earning acclaim for their mesmerizing performance. Nusrat's ability to connect deeply with listeners stemmed from his commitment to making Qawwali accessible worldwide. He adapted his music to fit diverse cultural settings, including using the Japanese pentatonic scale during tours in Japan and collaborating with artists like Peter Gabriel and Eddie Vedder. Despite his international renown, Nusrat remained dedicated to his spiritual roots, seeing his music as a means to bridge the gap between creator and creation. His untimely death in 1997 marked the end of an era. Yet his legacy as the king of Qawwali endures. His music continues to inspire across borders, cementing his place as a profoundly influential figure in global music history.